Here we are, Monday, August the 6th, and we're still at the, the gallery here on 253 Portobello Road, on the junction of Portobello Road and Lancaster Road. The gallery, you'll be glad that you is open for another 10 days. And in that time, we're going to show film shows, we're going to do karaoke down there. We're going to change the exhibition around a bit to please every eye. Um, come down and see us, as I say. We're opposite the Market Park, Queer's Gallery, 253 Portobello Road. Afternoon from uh, Germany, I guess. At the Reflow Gallery. And I'm going to ask you a few questions about the clash. Uh, Don't know them. They're nice pictures, though. Nice pictures? Nice pictures? Yes, actually, yes. He's quite good looking, isn't he? There was a he's really good looking. looking. Yes. I and think he, he's really good looking. And he's the singer. He's mine. Nice to get up on it. Oh, we've got somebody in the gallery who recognises some of the people on the wall. Rusty Egan. Yeah, hi, hi I'm Rusty. Rusty. How you doing, mate? Who yeah. right, Rusty? Yeah, I remember Keith back in that comedy club at the uh, 69 Dean Street. We're on the Warwick Castle and, of course, Rusty. Joe. Yeah. Joe the man. I used to uh, rehearse with The Clash in 1976 at Rehearsal Rehearsal in Camden Town. Right. I played with them for about six months. I played Jenny Jones World, it's a Jenny Jones World. And then Joe said to me, um, he wrote Career Opportunities at yeah. the time and the dole office were all over him, you know, <laughs> and trying to give him a job, you know. And he wrote that song, Career Opportunities. And basically, I said to them, John Paul George and Ringo, I'm rusty. I'm either in the band or I'm out. So they said, fuck off. But Mick was super cool. I remember reading um, sounds where he was described as uh, the new Keith Richards. Yeah, right. He was over the moon with it. Very wow, nice. look what they said about me. Yeah. It was brilliant, you know. Yeah. And in those days, he used to give you a star at a gig. It'd be like they were unsigned at the time, you know. They used to say sounds, and say the Clash would be playing at some club somewhere. I actually saw the Clash supporting Shaking Stevens yeah. at Mallet Street University. That's a good old Welshman. What Do about you think that? Was the crack? He didn't, couldn't even play the bass, so Mick and Joe wrote A, D, mm. E, and they had to write it on there to show him where to put his fingers. Do mm. dun, do dun, do dun, do dun, 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 dun. In 1977. Fantastic. Yeah. Shane McGowan, so I went to see um, The Clash, and Shane was a big Clash fan at the time. He was in the front row, and that uh, was at the ICA when he had his little problem with Jane. I was there that night, and I met Polystyrene, O-Bondage, up yours. <laughs>